Hello, and welcome to the Ashes of Creation pre-alpha experience. My name is Stephen Sharif. I am the founder and creative director on one of the most anticipated MMORPGs currently in development. Ashes of Creation is a vast open world set in a non-faction based high fantasy story and is being created by some of the most experienced MMO developers that the gaming industry has ever seen. You and countless other players will work together or against one another to discover secrets, explore breathtaking lands, and rebuild a home long forgotten. Our game is focused on allowing the players to shape the world around them. Through the use of our innovative node system, players will literally build the cities up from nothing. Determining story arcs, forming guilds and societies, with every possible action, you will be writing the unique history of your server. Players will be able to build homes in the world and become a renowned master crafter, tame legendary beasts and conquer the most terrifying creatures, control the markets and move goods from region to region. Risk versus reward is a central tenet in our game and meaningful choices by you, the player, are paramount in deciding your experiences. Development of Ashes began in 2016 and in June of 2017 we finished the most successful Kickstarter in history for an MMO. In just seven months since we first announced the project and launched AshesOfCreation.com, we have seen over 250,000 members join our community. It has truly been an amazing experience to see the outpouring of support and enthusiasm for Ashes. We want to create something that we can be proud of, something that brings people together to enjoy the challenges you will face in this epic story. Everyone at Intrepid Studios is honored to have you join us in this journey. Now before we begin, it is important to note these two encounters are small slices of the pre-alpha state of the game. An MMORPG is the largest game that can be developed and Ashes of Creation is a massive undertaking. Ashes of Creation will launch with eight archetypes. These archetypes are then paired with a secondary archetype of your choice as you progress in the game. You'll be able to play as one of four of these eight archetypes during our pre-alpha experience. As you level in Ashes, you will customize the selection of skills you have access to. For the purposes of our pre-alpha experience, you will be given eight skills to use with each archetype. The first skill you will see on your hotbar in this pre-alpha experience is the weapon skill. Now, something unique about our weapon skills, I will explain quickly, is that Ashes does not have an auto attack or button mashing system. Combat is intended to be strategic. We have blended situational importance with elements of tab targeting and action combat. Additionally, we have created a unique skill input system that allows for your weapon to be its own progression path. That is unique for each type of weapon. When you activate this skill, it will attack your target and will spawn a precision window, allowing you to hit the key once more in order to accurately time the skill for a success. Doing so will grant you focus, a unique energy needed for certain skills, and will also initiate a combo attack that becomes more powerful and adds additional effects that you will be able to customize based on each weapon type as well as your class. The first of our four archetypes in this pre-alpha experience is our tank. The tank is a force of will on the battlefield, able to take vast amounts of damage and remain standing. He exerts his control over the area around him, helping to protect his allies and direct the battle. The tank wields a sword and shield and is able to pull targets to him. His shield is capable of stunning multiple targets that lie in front of him and knocking them to the ground. If he wants to stop a foe from moving past him, he has the ability to summon a wall that will trip and damage enemies who make contact with him. His taunt action will force an enemy to target him for a period of time and add additional hate to the target. The tank can also take 50% of incoming damage done to a friendly player with his cover skill. Finally, with enough focus accumulated, the tank will launch a devastating ability that pulls all enemies in his forward arc to him while dealing a massive amount of damage. Next in this pre-alpha experience, we have our mage. She is a master of the elements capable of dishing out a massive amount of damage through deadly area of effect spells, all while using the art of illusion and teleportation to avoid dangerous encounters. Our mage here is wielding her spellbook as a weapon, from which she is able to send missiles of force to impact her targets. She is also capable of summoning fiery destruction with her implosion skill, hitting multiple opponents in an AoE. She can follow up her fire with fury by launching a bolt of searing light against her enemies that lie in her forward arc. 
When she needs to stop an enemy in their tracks, she can summon a prison of ice around a single target, rendering them paralyzed for a number of seconds while she tends to other, more important matters. If things get hairy, she can use her teleport ability to leap into another dimension momentarily, returning some distance away from her last location. Our mage uses the art of illusion to confuse her enemies by summoning multiple images of herself, granting her some seconds of invulnerability. Finally, once our mage has accumulated enough focus, she can summon the tectonic forces beneath her to knock down her enemies while dealing a massive amount of damage. Our ranger is a man of many skills, but most important to him is being able to land fatal shots from a distance, striking terror in his enemies with his adept ability to snipe targets that land in his sights. Our ranger uses his trusty bow and arrow to send chills through the heart of any creature. Capable of powering up a shot to deal massive damage, the longer he focuses, this shot strikes all enemies in a forward line. If his prey attempts to flee, he can fire a single shot, rendering them unable to move. The ranger is also capable of aiding his allies by marking a target and reducing their defenses for a period of time. If his enemies get too close, the ranger is capable of dashing away quickly and firing off a parting shot. When given time, the ranger can summon arrows to his side that deal massive damage for a short period of time. And finally, when the ranger has accrued enough focus, he is capable of raining down a storm of arrows to damage all his enemies in a massive area. Last but not least is our cleric, the life force of any group. She is a master of life and death, able to manipulate the vital forces of energy that give meaning to life. Our cleric in this pre-alpha experience wields a powerful staff. Through her staff, she channels blessings of life to her friends and death to her foes. By uttering a single word, our cleric can grant life to any ally, while at the same time dealing damage to enemies around them. If necessary, our cleric can drop a ward that damages all enemies around her and grants that same life to her allies. If her party is under attack, she is capable of bringing all life energy into a balance. Her mastery of life is even capable of firing off an arc of vital energy to heal all allies and burst down enemies in proximity of the arc. In the direst of needs, our cleric is capable of resurrecting her fallen allies. If she has accrued enough focus, our cleric can enter a divine form, channeling the spirit of her deity. Her powers are enhanced while she grants life to these allies around her and damages those who wish to do her harm. There are two separate experiences we have built for our pre-alpha demo at PAX. The first is our open world PVE experience, where players will be led through an area in Ashes of Creation to gather supplies and to help grow one of our nodes to the village stage of development. While our players attempt to escort a caravan of goods to a nearby node for trade, they will encounter dangers along the route and perhaps discover a deep, dark presence in the mountain. Will they survive to tell the tale? The second experience is a team-based PvP arena. Each team of four will attempt to subdue the opposition by capturing control points and eliminating their enemies. To capture a control point, players must destroy a statue at the control point, thereby erecting their own team statue to gain points for them over time. Additionally, teams can kill their opponents to gain points. This match will last 10 minutes. These two pre-alpha experiences are only a small taste of what is to come. Everyone here at Intrepid Studios is working day and night to build a revolutionary MMORPG that will allow you and your friends to direct your own story. A game that reacts and responds, one that is always changing. Much will change from now to launch, and our community will help to iterate these changes through many alphas and betas that we have planned and that you can be a part of. On behalf of everyone from Intrepid, I would like to personally thank you for stopping by, and I'd like to invite you to become a part of our development by registering with us at ashesofcreation.com. Subscribe to our YouTube and join our Discord. We have begun limited pre-sales of our early access Alpha 1 and 2. We raffle out access to our Alpha 0 every week, which we are happy to announce will begin December 15th of 2017. I hope you have enjoyed this small taste of Ashes of Creation. We're only just getting started.